Hey guys, it's Jordana, founder of Embarkability, and welcome to Mondays on She's the CEO. This week we're talking about success. What is our definition of success, and what do we believe has contributed to our success this far? So I believe that success is something pretty simple. Success is achieving whatever it is you want and set your mind to achieving. So it could be something as simple as getting to bed by eight o'clock at night. It could be something as big as making a million dollars in your business. So success is really however you choose to define it. It can be something big, it can be something small. It's really totally your call. So that said, um, what do I believe has contributed to my success this far? So there's three things that I feel like have been huge in helping me um, succeed in my business. The first thing is that I found a really amazing mentor and I've uh, enrolled in a mastermind group. What's a mastermind group? For those of you who don't know, it's a business support group. It's a group of like-minded entrepreneurs who are there to support you, help you, give you recommendations of resources. Um, they're there for many reasons. And actually, that is how I met Casey. So in addition to everything fabulous that a mastermind provides, it also uh, is a great way to meet fabulous other entrepreneurs that become your friends. So that's the first thing. I joined a mastermind group that's led by a fantastic mentor. The second thing that I think is huge in contributing to the success in your business is consistency. Whether it's consistency in your social media presence and consistently updating your Facebook status or in, on Twitter, or whether it's consistently sending out your newsletter every week or every other week, whatever you do, or consistently following up with your clients and prospects. Consistency basically shows two things. The first thing it shows is reliability, that someone can rely on you, which is so important when a prospect is thinking about whether to hire you or not. Um, if you can show that you're reliable when it comes to uh, marketing your business, they see it as translating into reliability in whatever service that you're providing them with. And the second thing is that it shows that you're really serious about your business and that you're invested in your business. And when people see that you're invested in your business and you're taking your business very seriously, it kind of becomes contagious and they start taking you more seriously too. Now, the third thing that is huge when it comes to contributing to uh, my success and I think the success of many people is staying in a positive mindset. I think positive mindsets are amazing and I love being positive. If, if you know me, you'll know that I, I'm a pretty positive person. But being positive isn't always so easy. So what do I do to stay positive? The first thing is that I um, surround myself with um, positive sayings, positive quotes throughout my apartment. I create vision boards for you. For those of you who don't know what a vision board is, it's a board, be it a canvas or a bulletin board that has images of what it is you want to achieve on it. So I have vision boards, I have positive quotes, I have all, all that great stuff. The second thing is that I'm really mindful of what there is to be grateful for. I think it's so easy for us to think about everything that we don't have or that we yet want to achieve, but there's so much that we've already achieved and there's so much that we have right now that um, merits us being grateful for it. So one thing that I do is that I keep a grateful journal. Um, I've actually been keeping gratitude journals since my, I want to say, junior or senior year of high school. So I have journals upon journals of just things that I'm grateful for. And it really shifts your perspective if you're having a bad day ever, whether it's because of your business or something else. Um, write down 10 to 20 things that you're grateful for and I'm pretty sure that you're gonna feel a lot better afterwards. And the other thing that I do to stay in a really positive mindset is that I'm always reading books to help me stay in a positive mindset. Personal development, personal development books, business development books, self-development books, really whatever is going to um, keep me on track and help me stay in a positive mindset because I think that the best thing that you can do for yourself when starting your own business in terms of ensuring your success is to be your number one cheerleader and to be on your own team and the worst thing you can do is be a critic and of yourself and and not be on your own team and be a, a naysayer and uh, because what you need first and foremost, is for you to be your number one fan. So whatever you have to do to be your number one fan, go and do it, okay?
So have a great and fantastic and extremely successful week. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.